Oh, hey, don't mind me. I'm just trying on some Warby Parker frames from home doing a virtual try on. So pretty cool, right? Uh, this is an app that Warby Parker has designed. A lot of times when I'm doing these reviews, a lot of companies are pushing their app or whatever it may be. And frankly, they're kind of garbage. This one's really cool. So if you're ever looking at a pair of sunglasses here, I'm looking at the Barkley shades. Uh, why don't we try to find something kind of funny here? Kimball, I would never wear something like this. I can't pull it off. But if you pull down on the app here, you can see that they'll <laughs> yeah like i said i i really can't pull these off <laughs> i feel like an old lady from the 60s i don't understand fashion if that's what you're coming for with this video this is not going to be it but this is going to be an excellent video for you if you're considering warby parker because i'm going to walk you through how the service works when you get the frame shipped to you what that process looks like but what i want to do is give you a really quick 30,000 foot view of warby parker and how they came to be basically the prescription eyeglass industry has been ravished by the fact that it is kind of somewhat of a monopoly there is an Italian brand called Luxottica, which owns tons of different brands, which you'll see on the screen right now. And if somebody competes with them, what they would do is they would kind of just force them out of the marketplace. Good example of this was Oakley Sunglasses in 1996 was doing really well, and they had a dispute with Luxottica, but Luxottica owned a ton of the different retail outlets. So what they did is they stopped actually putting Oakley Sunglasses in their stores, and Oakley stock plummeted 33% because of that news. So you can see how one company was kind of controlling this industry. So now with the advent of the internet and e-commerce becoming more popular and companies like Zappos for trying on shoes from home really established a firm footing in the marketplace. That was a nice pun that was unintentional. Uh, Warby Parker came out because they're like, hey, this is crazy. Glasses are too expensive. And actually, according to this article from the LA Times that the average cost of a pair of frames is $231 and the average cost of a pair of single vision lenses is 112. So if you're looking for a prescription pair of glasses, you're looking around $350 just to get started on average. So Warby Parker pricing comes in below that. And on top of that, they do a program called Buy One, Give One. So the way that that program works is that there are 624 million people that cannot effectively learn or work due to the severity of their visual impairment. So when you buy a pair of glasses, they will give one to somebody in need. But as of April 1st, 2020, they actually changed that up where they were helping with personal protective equipment and preventative health supplies that will be distributed to healthcare workers and communities in need. So cool company, they have lowered pricing, but how does it all work? So when you go through the process here on the homepage, it's gonna start with doing a home try-on. So for my particular case, I shopped sunglasses, which you can actually turn into prescription ones as well. So I'm gonna take you through what that process looks like, but if you're looking for prescription glasses, it'll be the exact same so going through the process you can shop men or women uh, however you want to do that and you can kind of go through these right here if you want filters these are your filters now what you want to consider with this is like what is your head shape mine I have a wider head just because it's a little bit larger it's not extra wide uh, but one of the things that I think is super helpful is looking at the nose bridge do you need standard or low bridge fit now one thing I'd recommend if you do have questions you can google them you know and this is something that I actually did for this video I put in like low bridge fit Fit Warby Parker explanation and once you know that this popped up with this right here so low bridge fit what that means is that your pupils actually sit level with the bridge of your nose which I'll put a line over my eyes right there as you can see or below so in my particular case my pupils are kind of level with the bridge and what that means is that I need larger nose pads to accommodate for this. Now, these are the actual sunglasses that I ended up going with. Now, you can decide if they look good on me or not, but that is up to you. Um, one thing I probably would have done is I would have gotten a pair that my uh, eyebrows were a little bit more pronounced in here. Uh, but I'm going to give you five tips on screen right now of what you want to consider when you're picking out frames. These are all important things that you want to figure out for yourself. And this is going to be helpful, too, if you download the app and you're looking at yourself on screen in the virtual try-on. And I love the way that they've done this, that you can do a virtual try-on, at-home try-on, and then purchase from them. Now, I can't say that this will be the same for you, but this was the estimated ship date, and this is when I received those frames at my house. Now, I mention this because in my particular case, I wanted these sunglasses because I'm going on vacation, and I was like, oh shoot, am I gonna get them in on time? They came in four days earlier than they said they were gonna come in. Now what we're looking at is just a quick unboxing of the frames themselves. Uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me try all these on for a long time, because again, your face and style and everything is gonna be different for you. But I did end up with these Barkley Antique Shale Fade sunglasses. So that's what you're seeing right now on my face. Um, I just like the way they fit. The uh, one thing I would say from that checklist is maybe my eyebrows aren't like kind of coming up out of the tops 
of them enough, but I had the hardest time picking out frames. And I may have mentioned this earlier, I'm very tall, I'm six foot five, so I have a bigger head, a little bit wider, but kind of more so that alien versus predator look back here. And I always feel ridiculous trying on frames. A lot of times, especially if they're sunglasses, you get these narrow kind of like mirrors that they have and they're kind of low, so I'm hunched over and I'm trying on frames. This ear sits a little bit lower, which I'm gonna get to later in this video of how to correct that. Not my actual head, but the sunglasses. And then uh, as I'm trying things on, I just feel ridiculous because nothing is working. I'd rather do this from the comfort of my home. Now, one of the things that I really love about this company is they're very customer centric. When I got the actual try on box in, uh, they have an option that you can text a stylist and ask them questions. So I tried to have some fun with this and the person did not respond to my sloth comment, but they did respond to me asking about the fact that the glasses were a little bit crooked on my head, which happens every single time I get any pair of glasses. This ear sits a little bit lower than this one. So I do not have that Denzel Washington symmetry. So this is really cool. They sent me a helpful resource for that. When I clicked on it, there was a YouTube video I could watch that explained exactly how to bend glasses. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is me doing that. So I had to pour some hot water into a bowl, just put the frames in for a little bit and I bent them down and that's what allowed me to get these to sit a little bit more level. So it's not rare that I can do a review of a company and say that I appreciate their pricing, I appreciate their social good that they do, I appreciate the way that they do their business. So you go from a virtual try on, home try on, then you can text the stylist and then you can have this shipped to your home like super cool. Like that's the Zappos of sunglasses and prescription eyewear in my opinion. Uh, and then on top of that, the actual product looks good at a competitive price. So you may be curious, perhaps you're just trying to get a pair of glasses. Uh, what you do is once you actually go to purchase, you'd select lenses and purchase. Here is where you'd pick, you know, the width of the glasses. These particular ones are wide. And this is non-prescription is 95, single vision 175, progressives 375, readers 175. So let's say you go through uh, single vision here. So this is where you can go for uh, thinner lenses if you do have high prescription. Uh, I'm gonna skip over that for now. And then you're gonna review and then add to cart. And again, this is Warby Parker accommodating you in whatever is easiest for you. You can upload a photo of your prescription, you can send it to us later, or they can contact your doctor on your behalf. So just a really cool company in the way that they do things, super easy to order from. So if I were you, I would definitely use their app to do a virtual home try on, then select the five frames that you wanna use. Be aware that their customer support service is excellent. So if you do have questions, feel free to text the number that they provide you. Uh, and then once you end up purchasing your glasses, know that they're probably gonna come in sooner than what they say. In some ways, I feel like in 2021 that customer service is dead and it's just cool to be able to work with a company that is so polished. The last thing I'll say is the reason I decided to even get these sunglasses was I got tired of the quality that I was getting from sunglasses from elsewhere. I think I bought these sunglasses that you're seeing right here at Dick Sporting Goods. And what you can see is this little screw popping out. And this was like two weeks after I bought them, this screw was already popping out. I said, you know what? I want something a little bit nicer, something that comes with a case that can protect the lenses. So I'm super glad that I ended up going with Warby Parker. And again, I appreciate you using my affiliate link in the description below. And the last thing I'll say is there's a really interesting video that John Oliver did that explains consolidation and how big companies kind of control the markets. So you'll see a video on the screen right here. If you watch that video around the 10 minute mark is where he gets into the brand Luxottica and how they were able to push Oakley lenses out of the marketplace and absorb them and why prices are so high when it comes to prescription eyewear. I think you'll find that video interesting, but just be aware that there is some foul language if that bothers you. All right, guys, catch you in that next video.